Mr. President, I wish to thank you for facilitating this highly critical session today in response to the announcement from President Trump recognizing Jerusalem Al-Quds Sharif as the capital of Israel and the relocation of its embassy in Israel to the city of Jerusalem Al-Quds Sharif. We also appreciate the League of Arab States and the Organization of Islamic Conference for rapidly responding to the failure of the Security Council earlier this week in adopting its resolution. We also thank the member of the Non-Aligned Movement for their strong support. Mr. President, Indonesia, as expressed by our President in the OIC Summit in Istanbul, is of the opposition that the recognition made by the United States to recognize Jerusalem al quds Sharif as the capital of Israel is unacceptable and not only hurting the feeling of many peoples in the world, but also hurting the feeling of justice. This unilateral decision brought nothing but keeping us away from the two-state solution and making the independence of Palestinians seems far and impossible. In addition, this decision only aggravates the already vulnerable condition and ruins the effort to pursue peace that this august body is longing for far too long. Therefore, once again, we reiterate that the decision should be rejected. Furthermore, this unilateral recognition violates and undermines a number of Security Council resolution, General Assembly resolution, and supporting the illegal activities committed by Israel, which violates international humanitarian and international human rights law. Mr. President, all resolution concerning the status of the Holy See of Jerusalem, Al-Quds Sharif, and the rest of the Palestinian territory occupied by Israel since 1967 must be respected without exception. There has been international consensus recognizing Jerusalem's centrality and sensitivity to the peace process. Unfortunately, we have witnessed in the past few days statement disrespecting the Security Council resolution and many GA resolutions. Let me briefly recall history and quote paragraph 5.B of Security Council Resolution 478-1980, which states, calls upon those states that have established diplomatic mission at Jerusalem to withdraw such mission from the Holy City. This resolution of the Security Council of 1980 was adopted by 14 votes to none, with one abstention. It is still valid and continue to be valid until peace is sustained for the Palestinians. Indonesia will once again stress our position that it does not accept any statements and activities that, dis that disgrace this august body and its product that are reflection of the world recognition toward the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people, let alone by one or two states. Let me stress again, any attempts to change the character and status of the Palestinian territory occupied since 1967, including East Jerusalem, has no legal validity and considered null and void. It also constitutes flagrant violation of international law and major obstacle to the achievement of the two-state solution and a comprehensive peace. Jerusalem al quds Sharif is a final status issue that must be resolved through negotiation between the two parties. It is up to us here in this chamber as peace-loving nation, the one that must uphold the rule of law, justice, and the dignity of this multilateralism. We need to demonstrate our good faith and trust to the system for the maintenance of peace and security. I call once again on all peace-loving nations to support the resolution that has been forwarded by Yemen and Turkey on behalf of the many co-sponsors, including Indonesia. The Indonesian people puts high expectation to the United Nations and its member states, whose resolution has been blatantly violated to make the right decision and make a strong stance against any unilateral recognition in contrary to international law. Indonesia also urged the member of the United Nations not to follow the unilateral recognition of the United States to relocate its embassy to Jerusalem. 
Indonesia is convinced that we can still rely on the United Nations to feel, fulfill the world expectation. Finally, Mr. President, let me once again assure my Palestinian brothers and sisters that Indonesia's support for the legitimate aspiration and rights of the people of Palestine to live in freedom, peace, justice, and dignity in their own homeland has been steadfast and will continue undiminished. As I stand here in this August chamber, representing the people of Indonesia, a sovereign country and one of the biggest democracy in the world, a master of its own destiny and decision, to once again reaffirm our strong commitment to always stand with the Palestinian people for their legitimate and inalienable rights. Our support will never cease. It will never weaken. Indonesia tidak akan pernah mundur sejengkal pun dalam perjuangan kemerdekaan Palestina. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank the distinguished representative of Indonesia. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Maldives.